God, that is so fast. I don't even think I can... I don't even think I can step here. Right, hello. I'm absolutely sick of villagers and their stupid little villager noises. Do you mind? Um, what? Lindsay, I'm going to burn your whole village to the ground. Ah. Oh, it appears you've already managed that yourselves. Well done. I literally didn't even touch that. Ah. Right, let's get started on this spectacular machine that's going to torture all the villagers. And yeah, I'm going to just plop myself over here. And now I'm going to clean out a little bit of space for these, for this machine. Right, so we've got a little space that we're going to put the villagers in. I'm going to go get a creative motor. And put it right in the middle. Actually, you know what? Let's decorate a little bit first. Right, that looks much better now. I'm going to come over here, put create motor in, add a mechanical bearing, add a block on top, and now it spins. Right? I'm just going to stop it for now. So, I'm going to build a frame, and then like something on the outside they'll attach to, like the little capsule. Right, I built a small little platform for it. And now I'm going to add some andesite bars. And then at the end of it, I'm going to attach like a little pod or a little capsule kind of thing. So, something like this. And then just have like a window here or something. Okay, so I think I've done like most of the design. I'm just going to add some like minor details or something. Now tell me that doesn't look awesome. That actually looks so good. So now I'm going to have to like activate it, look at the path it follows and then build the walls outside up so it like is in the room then it's not like a, just a big square room it like kind of follows the layout of the room now that i think of it maybe that's a bit too close so i might move it out a bit yeah i think that's more like a bit better and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come on the back put a barrier block and then add some ladders so now it's just gonna look like the ladders are like hanging off the back then you can get up and down easily and then inside i'm gonna need to add a seat then when someone's in it, they sit down at the front. So when we're torturing the villagers, we're just going to have them sit at the front. There you go. Look at that. That's pretty good. Right, so I think it'd be really cool if I added like a swinging door on the back that swings out and in. It's so like with a button on. Then when they get in and then you press the button and then the door swings shut by itself. <laughs> rather than just having like block there so it'll be pretty good so i'm gonna try and like build that i'm gonna add like a mechanical bearing here to that and this is what's gonna swing out and in you know what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna add a control room over here and then it can be remotely closed and opened and then this can be remotely switched on because that'd just be sick now look at that and then we're gonna remotely we're gonna add like a switch onto it using a redstone link and this is going to open this so right now i'm just going to build this door on top i'm going to put a sequence gear shift and then this is going to like open the door temporarily and then close it you'll see and then i'm going to come over here and add in my little door thing my little bit of door and then i'm going to super glue this and then when i add a creative motor to this up here What that's going to do, that's going to supply the power. And then, in the gear shift, I'm going to go turn 90 degrees this way. And then wait. I don't know, roughly two seconds, we'll say. And then turn the opposite way. It's going to open, then close. Hopefully. Now, when I put this in, it should open. Wait two seconds and close. Wait. So it should open clockwise, right? Yeah, okay. So, you ready? Let's test it. Wait two seconds. Close. Okay. So, two seconds is obviously not enough. Oh, that was just for testing purposes. I'm going to put it to 10 seconds. Now, we get a redstone link. And put that on the side of this. We'll get a button, put our redstone link on the side, add in a piece add in a piece of redstone for the frequency, come over here, and do the same on the back of a block. So I'm going to get this block, put on a redstone link, put a button on, which will activate it. Now come back over here and hit this with a wrench to make it the receiver. Now, 
hopefully, when we press this button, it'll send the signal and open the door. Now, wait 10 seconds. And close. Nice. Right, right. Now, I'm going to come over. I'm going to glue this whole thing together so that everything's going to move with it. So, give a glue to this, and when this moves, it'll move everything. So, just keep them doors glued together. And then glue the bearing onto the, onto the contraption. So, now, when I open these doors at the back, hopefully... Everything doesn't move with it. Okay, yeah, it's just still the doors. Right, now I need to make it actually spin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down underground where this part is. I'm going to dig it a little bit further down. You know what, let me just clean this whole thing out. Right, that's done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a creative motor, but rather than adding it one under, I'm going to add it two under. And then I'm going to add my clutch in here, which is going to make it go and stop. So I can stop the shafts from rotating whenever I want. So add it in here, and that should make the whole thing rotate. But, but, that I get a piece of redstone, and I come down here again, and I put my redstone on here, it stops it from rotating. So, what I was thinking was, add another redstone link on the back of here, but this time use a lever, and that's going to stop and start the machine. So the button's just for the door, and the lever for stopping and starting so quartz for the frequency and some idiot forgot to glue the ladders i wonder who that was Oop. and now i'm gonna hit this with a wrench make it a receiver like the last one and when i come up here and pull this lever hopefully it should stop all right yeah so we'll stop it there now i'm gonna build up the walls around this to make it more concealed and I know where everything's going to be. Right, so the build is complete and here's how it's looking. We have our whole little thing and now within the room we can make our machine go and we can also... What?! Oh, I accidentally glued the blocks together. That's what happened. So we can open the door and it closes. So I did a little bit of the outer building and now we have a room and I can activate it. But I know what you're going to say. It's kind of slow, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to test the capabilities of this thing by coming under here. And we're going to crank up the speed a little bit. So I'm not going to put it to 256 straight away. I might not be able to stop it. We'll try 128 and we'll come back. And now hopefully it'll go a lot faster. Okay, I might just have gone a little bit too fast. I'm going to come back down here and turn down the speed to 40. Don't worry, we will torture these villagers. That's too fast for me to get in, but the villagers, oh, they, they can definitely go in there. Now let's go have some fun. Let's force some villagers in here. Unlucky Douglas. Douglas! You're about to be dizzy. Yep, you. You're about to be so dizzy. Okay, huh? goodbye. And I'm going to come over here. And when I switch this on... Oh my god. Let me go talk to our friend Douglas. How was that, Douglas? Did you like it? It's about to get a whole lot more fun for you. Douglas? Hey, yeah, you. I'm speaking to you. Excuse me? Yep. Look at me. It's about to get a whole lot more fun for you, my friend. You're enjoying it, Douglas? Oh my god, that is so fast. I don't even think I can... I don't even think I can step here. Oh my god. Yeah, I think Douglas is dead by now. Surely he's dead. Like, I just... That is so insane. I actually can't believe that. I'm gonna come stop him. I'm gonna see if he's okay. I hope he's okay. I'm gonna go see if he's okay. Douglas, you okay, buddy? What's that? Douglas brains? No! I can't believe he's really gone. What's that? Oh. Douglas is dead, coming back for revenge. Uh-oh. Ah! How am I supposed to stop it? Ah! If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching.